Hey Virgo, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general love reading. We're going to take a look and see what's happening for you in love. If this is your reading, I encourage you to like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload these readings. I am available for personal love readings. Um, I have an Etsy shop. I have my Tarot Oracle decks there. All right, so let's jump right in. Messages for Virgo. What do they need to know? Any all messages for Virgo? Like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, what is the challenge that Virgo may be facing in their love life? The challenge for Virgo. The lovers in reverse, okay? So this could be a Gemini you're dealing with. Um, I feel there's a really, really strong spiritual connection that you're in. Um, the challenge could be, you know, someone owning it, someone acknowledging this for what it truly is. The connection is very much there, but I almost feel like someone here isn't um, seeing it right now. I feel someone may have turned their back on it. Someone may be questioning and doubting it perhaps fear. Um, but the lovers in verse, I feel like someone either has made a decision to go in a different direction or is, um, you know, going like contemplating this decision. It's still in the challenging position. The current energy is the magician in reverse. We also have the two wands in reverse with the chariot. So I feel like someone is feeling like I can't. There's the energy of feeling like I can't manifest this. Um, I'm not sure, certain if I can do it. I'm not certain if this is for me. Someone is questioning it, okay? Questioning it. <laughs> um, and so I feel like there could have been two decisions or, or two options, two people, two paths. There, there's a decision here that I feel someone had to make regarding moving forward, being victorious, right? The chariot is here. It's about progression. Um, where is this going to go? I feel like some of you, you want it something to move forward and maybe you gave this person an ultimatum maybe you ask this person where do you stand with them because you wanted something to come of this connection you wanted to know where it was heading so give me the recent past in the recent past we have this beautiful ten of cups the two of cups came out the empress in reverse with the eight of cups in reverse wow um a lot of cups here two of cups eight of cups ten of cups i feel someone is um Rethinking this relationship, I feel someone in the past um, really was happy with you, Virgo. I think you both were happy with each other. There definitely was an idea of coming together, family, home, a beautiful partnership. There was real love. I mean, the Ten of Cups, even if the Two of Cups in verse, I feel someone here was just in denial. I feel someone is in denial of their feelings for you. I even think that this is someone who felt like they couldn't take care of this um, connection. They couldn't nurture it. They couldn't be there for you the way that you wanted them to. They gave up on the connection. I even feel that someone here may have even walked away and came back. Someone may have walked away and came back many times. Someone is like second guessing it. And I feel like that could be why maybe this is something that's been on and off. For some of you guys, this is a relationship that I feel you're still very much strongly connected to this person. But I feel there's a lot of inconsistencies because someone is like, they feel this emotional connection, but it's almost like they're choosing to ignore it. So it's, it's a challenge here for sure. But I get the sense that as soon as someone walks away, they realize they're not happy. Now, there could be some interference. I mean, the Empress in verse could be an external person it could be a mother figure it could be a romantic partner or interest i feel that could be a reason why someone isn't nurturing and fully invested in this relationship maybe you feel like you're being neglected by this person with the empress in reverse maybe you are the divine feminine on your mind is this page of cups came out flewing out i feel like virgo you may have accepted this person's apology before we have the emperor and the seven of cups in verse. But I feel like you're at a point now is that you want to eliminate the confusion. You want to know what's the real deal. That's what the emperor is about. The emperor is about being confident, moving forward, making a decision, not looking back, taking control back. And I feel like if you leave it into this person's hand, you're just going to stay in this place of confusion and uncertainty. So I get the sense that Virgo, you may be contemplating if you want to still offer your cup to this person. Maybe this person has came back and apologized only to do it over again. 
So with the Emperor, this is really about taking back control. Seven of Cups in verse, not wanting to be just another option, not wanting to be in this place of confusion because it's like if you really love me, you won't be confused. That's how you feel. All right, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. In the foundation, the judgment in verse, we have this death card. So this moon in the verse makes sense and the ace of wands. So here this person comes back in, right? They come back in for this new beginning, ace of wands, energetic. They're, they're all for it. Come with this creative spark. They want to move forward. They want to take on this challenge. Um, something here could be revealed to you, Virgo, about this person's true feelings, their motives, their intentions. Maybe they were repressing your emotions. I feel this person... Definitely still cares about you, but I feel sometimes they hide their true self. They're not maybe very vulnerable. And I feel this person may put an end to a situation not thinking about it and only to regret it with the judgment in the verse and now wanting another second chance, the ace of wands. So yeah, this person makes decisions, but then they're not all for the decision. They go back and they think about it again and they're like, why did I do that? So there is some kind of change or transformation that's happening in this connection, Virgo, with the death card. And you may have to be open to some kind of change, okay? If you want this new beginning, Ace of Wands with this person. Because they're coming in very, very um quickly, like a firecracker, right? They're coming in, coming up with some kind of plan and wanting to move in some direction. They're action. They're very much an action-oriented energy. And it's because something is being revealed. Now, this person could be coming to you and then wanting to reveal something to you. The high priestess is in reverse as well. So the moon, the high priestess in reverse, something is coming out. The veil is coming off. The hangman in reverse, someone is getting unstuck. And I feel like it's regarding something this person has been hiding. The Queen of Swords in verse, I feel like this person can no longer hide or hold back or keep something to themselves. So with the Hangman, I feel like this person is um, in a near future. Coming into the moment, this person is going to get out of the Hangman. They've been doing a lot of deep thinking, right? Maybe there's been a separation for some time now. And someone is now saying, I'm going to cut myself loose. I'm going to reveal something to Virgo. And Virgo, you may have to decide what you want to do with it. The lovers is the challenge. Someone may have turned their back on you, but do you now turn, their, turn your back on them? So let's get some clarity for you guys, okay? If this is your reading, Virgo, I encourage you to like, to comment, and subscribe. Let's jump right in. messages for Virgo. Why is the lover's card? It could be a Gemini here. Doesn't have to be. Why is the lover's card here for Virgo? Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the wheel. So I think a lot of you guys, you want change. You want movement, the wheel, right? You want progression. After some kind of missed opportunity, after someone may have decided, you know what, this connection is too strong. I don't want to do it. That's basically what I'm seeing. So I, I see that, Virgo, your challenge is to decide what do you want to make of this situation, okay? Why is the magician in the verse in a current energy? The magician in the verse in the four pentacles in verse. I feel this person only tricked and fooled themselves into thinking that they didn't want this. Because what I'm seeing is that this person is really having a difficult time letting go. They don't really truly want to let you go, Virgo. There's the energy of this person holding on as tightly as they could because they know, Virgo, what you had to offer was by far, you know, the greatest offer they've ever received. I mean, you know, it gets no better than this. And I feel with the Four Pentacles in a verse, they recognize that you're value to them. And I feel this person could be foolish and, and very even selfish. The Magician card came out in reverse twice. I feel this person could be a little bit of a trickster, but I feel like the trick is on them. They're kind of playing themselves. So what is this um, two of wands here? Why is this person indecisive? Someone was very indecisive. King of Cups in reverse with the two of wands in reverse. I feel someone here has issues with being vulnerable, with opening up their heart, with revealing their true feelings and emotions. I feel this person has a tendency to come across as emotionally manipulative or unavailable. This person was very much... Um, I feel like they were very much in love with you, but I also feel like having another option could have brought a lot of confusion to this person's emotions to where they didn't know what to do with it. They didn't know how they felt for you. So yeah, they may have had feelings for you, but I feel like this indecision um, 
created a lot of unnecessary complication. So why is this cherry here? There's a desire for change, forward movement, four wands, yeah, and the nine of pentacles. Virgo, I get the sense that you're tired of just being on your own, living on your own. I mean, the four, the nine of pentacles is the energy of being very independent and being okay with it, you know, um, really working on yourself, your security, your family ties, your house, your home, your family. You know, it's a really great energy. But I feel that, Virgo, you're at a point with the chariot in verse, you want a victory with regard to home, family. Some of you guys, you want marriage with that four wands. You want to build on, you know, your home and, and generational wealth and, you know, that kind of thing. It's about creating a, a safe uh, family environment full of love and coming together. So, you know, give me the recent past. I get the sense you guys were definitely on the trajectory to having that ten of cups together because I do see it in the energy. But two of cups in verse is almost like someone doubted it. Three of swords and the ace of wands in verse. I feel someone here unexpectedly took their power back or energy back from this situation. I feel someone was left brokenhearted with the three of swords. I feel like there was a really um, difficult separation or ending, a betrayal. And I feel like you gotta, I'm getting it caught you off guard for sure. Ace of Wands in verse, I feel like this person came in with so much passion and desire to have this family with you. And then all of a sudden, it's like they gave up. All of a sudden, it's like they had a change of heart and you didn't know what happened. And it could have really, again, took you by surprise. It may have even blindsided you. Um, but it's almost like as soon as they left Eight of Cups, they came right back. Eight of Cups in reverse. So, yeah, I get the sense that as soon as they left, the Seven of Wands and the Hangman in reverse could be a Pisces here. This person recognized and realized that, you know what, what did I just give up? You know, they, they started questioning themselves and looking at something differently, the hangman. And I get the sense that this person doesn't really truly know. They can't even ask themselves why they didn't fight for this, why they didn't give it their all, why they gave it up so easily and neglected this empress energy. Why is this empress here? Nine of swords and verse and a page of cups. So I do feel this person has come back to apologize. Some of you guys' apology didn't come in yet. But this is someone who still has love for you. And I think that this person thinks about everything they could have done and how they may have hurt you. And it creates a lot of stress for this person. I mean, this person doesn't sleep like, um, sleep at night <laughs> thinking about what they did. The Nine of Swords, right? This is like night terrors and overthinking and frustrations, anxieties and worries. What did I do? So I feel like this person leaves and then they come back to offer their cup. They may come back to apologize. And this could be like an ongoing thing with this person because they do know they care for you. So the Page of Cups is coming out in your energy as well, but I get the sense that it's kind of like not enough anymore. And I think, Virgo, you're at a point of really putting your foot down and really saying, I want clarity. I want movement. I want action, change, conviction, confidence, you know, the emperor, structure. The world and the five of swords in verse. So a lot of you guys are changing. You're breaking away from someone. This could be like a faded event. The world card is, is, is really about it's faded events it's destined to happen things but i think this is really about the change you're going through virgo and big realizations and epiphanies about your future and with the five of swords in verse i feel like you don't want to fight this person anymore you don't want to fight for this person to um see you and love you i mean you shouldn't have to fight for that so I feel like you guys are feeling very much defeated you may be getting more clear about something why is the seven of cups in reverse the lovers and the emperor a lot of you guys are becoming clear that you have to make that decision it's not up to this person anymore because perhaps you gave them this power over the relationship and they didn't know what to do with it so i feel like with the seven of cups and verse you're becoming clear that you have to make that decision you have to be that force of change you have to pick the best route for you and what's good for you, right? So let's see what this ending is about. This death card is in the foundation. There's some kind of change. Endings bring new beginnings, right? Page of Wands and the Two Pentacles in reverse. So Virgo, you do have a, perhaps a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, someone who is going to come in with some kind of passionate exchange of communication. This is someone who feels inspired, motivated. They, you know, they, they, they want to get things up and running. It's a very small little offer. It's a little small little amount of communication, but it's 
coming in to change things. I feel this person may have made a decision recently. We have the judgment in reverse. We have the two pentacles in reverse. I feel this person could be giving up something or letting go of something here that may have been creating a lot of confusion. Um, may have even made them make a decision that they're not entirely proud of. And I feel like this person could be going back on a decision. Why is a judgment here? Yeah, could have been a decision to give up or, you know, move away from this connection to leave you hanging. The Knight of Wands is a very inconsistent, disloyal energy. Some of you guys, they all of a sudden pulled away from you. They could be revisiting that decision they made with you. Now, why is the moon in reverse? Is some secret coming out? The Empress, some of you guys, is regarding another person that they were dealing with. The Empress could be a romantic partner, a third party, a mother figure. May have deterred them from moving um, in with you or moving towards you. Now... <laughs> The moon can also be revealing of secrets related to their feelings for you, but they didn't show it because the empress is in reverse. So if you guys, Virgo, if you are the divine feminine and they treated you with this empress in reverse, right? They didn't see your true worth and value. They didn't love you the way you needed to be loved. I feel this person is now revealing to you why that happened, why they may have ghosted you. The four of swords is the energy of ghosting, silent, but it's almost like they needed to because they were in too much stress or conflict or worries about something. And so they may have cut you out because they didn't want to deal with the uh, issues of the relationship. That's what it's telling me. That's why they may have disappeared on you. But one thing is that they're reappearing out of nowhere. This Ace of Wands, what's this about? Ten of Swords in reverse with the star, Aquarian energy. Yeah, this person is appearing with this Ace of Wands, new beginning, inspired for some kind of change, wanting to overcome um, a really difficult ending here with the Ten of Swords in reverse. Now wanting to move past this difficult ending and wanting to now pour into the situation differently. The star is about hope optimism i feel this person is very optimistic that they can heal and mend what they uh broke right fix what they broke and the star is about healing it healing and, and finally addressing it and um i feel this person wants a new chance ace of wands and a star is like i want a new chance you're special to me right so that's a lot, right? But let's see what's coming in as far as the outcome. We have the hangman in the verse. There's something here your person's been thinking a lot about, and I feel like they come to some kind of recent realization. Queen of Swords in reverse and the Two of Cups. Now, I don't know who this Queen of Swords is. Some of you guys, it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone that uh, you're dealing with, or it could be someone that they're dealing with. I feel like there was a lack of truth and clarity, okay? Maybe this person wasn't seeing things very uh, clearly regarding you and another person. I feel someone has chosen perhaps another person over you. Two cups came out in the verse. This person is now seeing that that was perhaps the wrong decision. Why is this high priestess here? And what could be revealed is that they are, they don't they they want to move past this five of wands. They don't want to keep fighting this. They don't want to fight you. The Knight of Pentacles. This person is wanting to slowly come towards you. This could be an offer. Um, it's it's a very very slow moving night, right? With Knight of Pentacles, a very cautious energy. So it's like they're coming in very very slowly, but it's very promising once they do get there to the uh, finish line. So this person may be thinking about rebuilding the connection, resolidifying the foundation. They do want some kind of change and movement for the long term so that is what I'm seeing I think your challenge is to make a decision right with the lover's card after an ending a missed opportunity as to how you want to move forward this person which direction with the wheel okay so you are in charge you are in a driver's site uh, driver's seat of your love life so Virgo that is what I have for you guys I hope you enjoyed it and like share comment and subscribe all right you guys take care